Hi everybody, this is Bob Alpers, golf coach at St. John's University. A little bit of a recap and, and uh, look forward to what's coming up this weekend. Uh, the last time we competed was down in Normal, Illinois at Illinois Wesleyan's tournament. And uh, boy, we withstood uh, just some terrifically horrible weather conditions and a really strong field to uh, actually come in second out of 22 teams, I believe, and uh, first out of all Division threes. And uh, it was a great win. It was a big win for us. And it moved us up uh, in the region rankings and also moved us up uh, in uh, uh, the national rankings as well. We were led by uh, Austin Kotke from New Prague and Mac Farley from uh, Lakeville. The two of those guys, uh, for, uh, Kotke was one under par and uh, Farley was even par. We played only one day. What happened the, the second day, uh, 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts uh, started to come through normal and, and actually uh, play was canceled. Uh, the temperature wasn't going to get out of the low 30s so uh, we started coming home. The wind was so bad that uh, what normally would take about seven and a half hours took over ten hours. Uh, I just uh, it was it was brutal trying to drive the bus and and, and keep us on the road. But uh, we made her back home, and uh, uh, the other guys that played for us and played very well for us: Ryan Gallagher, Jr. from Moundsview, Sam Olson from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Take that, Olson! I got the right city in South Dakota one time. And Josh Palingo from Litchfield. Uh, the five of those guys did a heck of a job. We also brought two individuals down there. Jack Kohler, freshman from Eden Prairie. Jack Cummings, uh, sophomore from uh, Chaska and uh, Holy Family High School. And and uh, all, f all seven of the kids just played their tails off in tough, tough conditions. Well, we come back home, and uh, actually I didn't come back home. I went right there to, to the Masters to go cheer for Sammy Schmitz from 2003. One of the thrills of my life was to go see Sam tee off on, on hole number one and to watch him play against some of the world's greats on one of the greatest venues in, in, uh, on the planet. Uh, Sam handled himself like a champion. He uh, enjoyed the situation. He enjoyed the time. Uh, he played to the crowd a little bit because he's a little bit of a ham. Um, and uh, he, he just did a wonderful job. We are so proud of you, Sammy. Uh, you, you just did a heck of a job. So once we got back from that, uh, Augsburg had a tournament last weekend. We played a couple of guys as individuals. We played uh, Wes Dickhouse, uh, Jr. from Melrose, Morgan Rask, uh, Jr. from Rogers, and uh, Jack Kohler, again, from Eden Prairie. And uh, the three of those guys battled, again, really tough spring conditions. Uh, Kohler particularly played well in the second day. Shot a 76 after double bogey in the first hole. Really good experience for those guys, and I think it's just going to steal them and make them tougher and make them better. Now we come to the home stretch. These next two weekends are going to—they're going to be the proofs in the pudding on these two things. We're going to Gustavus's tournament this weekend, 18 holes on Saturday at the Ridges at Sand Creek, and then uh, Monday we play at Le Sueur Country Club, and we'll play 36. That'll be an eight o'clock shotgun. We'll have a little lunch, and then we'll go back and finish her off with another shotgun. A very strong field, primarily MIAC schools, but right now in our region, the top four of the top five teams are from the MIAC. So uh, this is where everybody's kind of close a little bit head-to-head, -head, except St. Thomas is a little bit ahead of the pack right now. But, boy, a lot of us can make a lot of hay by, by uh, playing really well and, and, and taking care of business these next two weekends. So our lineup will be the same as it was in, um, in, in normal. It'll be those five guys. It'll be uh, Gallagher and Farley and Kotke and Palingo and Olsen. I'm still not 100% sure about the second team. We're going to bring two teams down there, but uh, I'm sure that uh, whoever goes down there is going to give us a heck of an effort. And um, so, really looking forward to some wonderful weekend or wonderful weather this weekend. And uh, only two weeks left until we see if we're able to fight our way into the NCAA tournament. So, thanks. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.